Hello Technology World, this is Gabriel Smith and today this webcast is going to be about installing Solaris 10 packages on a Veritas clustered environment. Now the scope of this presentation or this webcast is limited. It's limited in the sense that we are going to do a mock install. That means we're going to be pretending that we're going to install packages. We're not actually going to install packages. I got this request from a coworker of mine, and he wanted to see a webcast video of what a the process would look like to install packages. And it took me a while to put a sys two systems together and install everything on it but at this point I'm burned out and I just don't really have the energy to locate packages to actually install on this thing so we're just gonna kinda go through the process speaking of which that process is the first thing you want to do is that you would want to make sure the package is not already installed in the system and you can do that with a PK uh, package info and then grep the package name or you could do a show rev minus P and grep the package name. Once that's done you want to find out what nodes are in your cluster and what's and and where the cluster service is actually running. You can do that with a HA status dash summary command and once you pretty much think that you have a feel for everything you can go ahead and put the main.cf in into read and write mode and you can do that by haconf dash make read writable so basically you're making a configuration file writable now the first step that you want to take is that you would want to freeze a cluster, freeze the node A or whatever node you choose to start with so generically we're going to say node A you want to freeze node A and fill everything over to the other cluster so the command that's going to do that for us is going to be hasys dash freeze dash persistent dash evacuate and then you just list the system name after you've done that you can maybe there's a step here that I didn't put there but basically you can do another HA status dash summary to verify everything and once that's done at that point you can go ahead and install your patch on node A if it's necessary you reboot node A and once it comes back up and again there's probably a few steps here that I didn't put in but basically you want to do start with another HA summary I mean what is it HA status dash summary just to make sure the node came back and everything looks good once you're satisfied with everything you would unfreeze the node and basically you would um, yeah so you would unfreeze the cluster and you can do that with HA sys dash unfreeze dash persistent and at that point you can go ahead and repeat steps four through seven for node B and once you're done with that you could go ahead and make sure the configuration file at this point is read only and you do that with the HA conf minus dump make read only so you know essentially just go back here a second so after you unfreeze the system you're basically going to repeat all these steps over again we can do a quick walkthrough we can do a quick walkthrough of some of this just to get an idea of what it would be like so the first thing we would do is a HA status dash summary just to see where we're at okay so on this cluster 
system we can see we have two nodes so trn1 and so trn2 both of them are in running state and the cluster service is currently online on solaris i mean so trn1 okay so our next step here would to would be to make the configuration file uh, read writable and we do that with the haconf make uh, rewrite I'm sorry that's make haconf make writable apparently I've already done that <laughs> so okay so moving right along and at this point we want to go ahead and freeze node A and make it persistent and evacuate everything off of node A onto the node B. So that's going to be a HA sys minus freeze persistent evacuate and we're just going to list the system that we're evacuating so again this is basically going to it's going to fail over all the groups and resources to uh, so TRN2 so let's just go ahead and run that okay that's done Now in the notes here again, I I said that you would just go ahead and install your patch, but you probably want to verify that the node is actually frozen and everything failed over. So one way to do that is to basically run another HA status command minus summary. And once you run that, you can see that uh, so TRN one is currently frozen it has a one there and the one stands for frozen you could also see that the cluster service is currently offline on so trn1 so at this point this is where you would install your patch on you know on the uh, so trn1 if you had to do a reboot this would be a good time to do it once the patch has been installed and you've confirmed that everything is okay then you could go hit patch or package I'm using them interchangeably at that point you're comfortable that it's installed and everything is good now you can basically unfreeze your note so let's go ahead and do that and we unfreeze it with a HA sys dash unfreeze persistent and again we just list the system name and again we want to just confirm that everything went that that command went through and it's to our liking and we can see right now that everything is we can see right now that um, so COTRN1 is not frozen and everything is basically unfrozen at this point so at this point this is where we would get ready to install everything on the other node so TRN2 so you're basically just going to repeat steps 4 through 7 for node B and that being four we're starting again with HA sys minus freeze persistent evacuate and this time instead of so TRN one we're going to do so TRN two And again, we just want to make sure that everything's done.
and we can see that the second cluster with no B is now frozen. So at this point, you you would just go ahead and follow the same steps that uh, we've already went through, and let's just go ahead and unfreeze it as if we've gone through all those steps, so that we can just finish this presentation or this mock walkthrough. So th at this point, we've already installed the package on Node 2. We're happy with the installation of that package. And now we just want to just make sure that everything is running the way it should be running. OK. Okay, so now our both our systems have been patched. The cluster is up and running as it should be. The only thing left to do is to make sure that um, the configuration file is read only now. And that's haconf dash dump dash make read only. So that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Again, I, I didn't. We didn't actually install any packages, but had we had any packages installed, uh, we wouldn't. Ha we wouldn't have minimal problems using that procedure, unless there's something wrong with the actual package. At any rate, that's the conclusion of this presentation. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, please send me an email at. G uh, busy386 at gmail.com and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.